it's, it's quite a varied record actually I'm kind of I'm still not quite sure what the kind of thread is if you like um, possibly the thread is that it's just a bit um, diverse <laughs> I don't think I knew what would be different when I first started writing. I don't think I, I ever really know that when I'm writing. It's kind of just, I have an idea and I write that and then I have another idea for another piece and I write that and then kind of see where we are once we've got a few. This is the record where we gave up trying to capture a live sound in not a live space, if you see what I mean. A long, long-term collaborator of the band, Tullis Rennie, has put some, yeah, some uh, sort of extra electronic layers and magic on the record. I think it's the best studio record that we've, that we've done. This will be our third studio album, and I think we've learned a lot over the course of those three albums. We came up with a plan this time that really worked for this band. There's a lot more free playing but still kept a lot of the through composed stuff in there as well. So I think there's a bigger mix of stuff. I really love the sound that uh, Gary's managed to capture on, on it as well. I'm very excited, I would say, to show everybody what we did, because I think it's an excellent album. It flows really nice. And uh, yeah, the weight has definitely meant that I'm even more excited to get it out there. I was thinking a lot about the kind of composition process. So there's some really, there's some quite different ideas in there that were quite new to bringing to the band. Yeah, it's kind of taken longer than I think we all expected, but in the same way, it's kind of been nice to have been able to take that time. And I think it's probably a very different record in the end because of that time. The album Good Days is out on the 27th of January, uh, 2023. It's out on FP Records. Um, on CD and download and streaming um, so yeah find it wherever you get your music from